Hello everyone, my name is Evo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. As you know, on my channel, I make a lot of bread. And when I do so, I use a bread bonneton, also known as a bonneton, pronounced either way. But anyways, today let's talk about this bread bonneton. Uh, what are they used for and what are the advantages of using them? And even more so, how do you keep them clean? Well, first of all, they typically come with a liner. You could either use the liner or not use the liner. If you use the liner, you still have to put flour on the inside to prevent your dough from sticking. And it'll also absorb a little bit of the moisture, but it has a tendency to stick and you don't get some of the advantages that you do without the liner. Having said that, I've used the liner, it works fine. I prefer without the liner. So you remove the liner and this is what you have. A nice bread proofing basket right here. So what are the advantages of the bread bonneton? Well, first of all, you get the perfect shape. The, the bread, the dough is able to proof nicely and form the perfect shape of a beautiful loaf of bread. The second thing is you can see with the ridges on here. So those ridges will create a beautiful pattern on the outside of your bread. And the third thing it does, as I mentioned earlier, it also absorbs a little bit of moisture. Okay, and when you use these, you have to line them with flour. I like to use whole wheat flour because whole wheat flour is, let's say, less sticky than uh, regular white flour. So I have one here that is previously used. You can see there I've lined it with whole wheat flour. There's lots of whole wheat flour in this remaining. So now the question is, now that I've used it, how do I clean it? Very simple folks. You're dealing with just flour. So I like to get a brush regular, uh, with a firm bristle and quite simply tap the excess flour out to begin with and then just with your brush work it around all those ridges and continue, continue to clean there you go. That's it. That's now ready to go, ready to proof another loaf of bread. Now, if you get to the point where you start to get more residue building up on here over time because the flour is moist and, and maybe you don't scrape it all off and there's little bits in there, same process folks. Get your brush, just wet it a little bit. Okay, and same thing and just help remove any little excess bits that you might have, let it dry out and it's ready to go. You're not putting anything in here except flour, so it's going to be food grade and remain clean all the time. But the bread bonnetons, folks, they make a difference. They help proof, makes for a nice loaf of bread. They're convenient and they stack nicely and store nicely. So next time you go to bake bread, Try using a bread bonneton and you might find that it'll come out a little bit nicer and you'll see how easy they are to actually use. I want to join, I want to thank you for joining me today on today's episode of Cooking with the Koyas. And until next time, bon appetito and happy bread baking.